we have Joe here who came in to visit our office and thought we'd sit him down and talk a little bit about stuttering and what his experience has been. Very often with the people who have done intensive therapy programs and individual therapy here as well, people come back years later or months later to just to visit and yeah. we love catching up with you uh, if you ever do that and, and uh, he and I were talking so we've we figured we'd sit down with the blog and, and share a little bit about some of the things that we've discussed yeah. and a little bit about Joe's past experience and, uh, experience with stuttering. So tell me um, <clears throat> if you wouldn't mind sharing a little bit about early on with you what, what how your stuttering affected you in school. Uh, it's gotten progressively better as I've aged so I guess it was the worst in like middle school and then early high school. I had a lot of trouble in class, like, I was a pretty smart kid, and whenever the teacher would ask questions, I would always know the answer, but I would rarely raise my hand, mm -hmm. because, you know, it's kind of like a... Yeah. But, I mean, and also, I was always really small as a kid, so I played point guard, and, you know, it was hard to call out plays and stuff, so mm -hmm. that kind of affected me a little bit, but, you know... And then college, too, there were a lot of presentations in class, and mm -hmm. I'm, yo hablo español muy bien. <laughs> <laughs> in all my Spanish classes, you know, you had to get up and give presentations in Spanish, mm -hmm. which kind of oddly, I find I speak a little bit more fluently in Spanish. You're not the first to say that. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. That's weird. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about why it is that you came to AIS for an intensive therapy program. Um, I came, I believe, right after I graduated from college. Um, I went to Penn State University, mm -hmm. which was the most fun I've ever had in my life, pretty much. <laughs> That's why it took me five years, probably. But, um, <laughs> you know, I just came to, you know, I wanted to be more, you know, I wanted to have more options in life. You know, because mm -hmm. when I was a freshman, I first, <laughs> my first major was computer science because I figured, you know, I could just be at a computer all friggin' day. I wouldn't have to talk about anything. Yeah. So this was but impacting then, major life decisions yeah. for you. But then I realized every class was at eight in the morning. I was kind of a party guy, so I wasn't having that. So now I'm a, <laughs> so I switched to uh, business and, uh, you know, I just came here to, you know, because you know, in the real world, you you know you have to talk on the phone, you have to make calls, you gotta you know hear the customers complain, and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. you know, I figured this would be very beneficial. Okay, how did doing the program benefit you in terms of that subject, speaking on the phone at work? Um, you guys drilled us pretty hard on making phone calls and just you know a lot of. Desensitization, I think you called mm -hmm. it. You know, just the more you experience things, you know, you realize, you know, this isn't a huge deal at all. You know, mm -hmm. it's just, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, you know, like once you actually work through, you know, what you perceive t to be like a tough, tough thing, it's really not that big of a deal at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's a lot of thinking about the things that you want to do or need to do. And choosing to do that or make that decision, sure. separate from the stuttering. 